Now moving on to our next speaker, Ms. Shahida Rahmani, Chairperson of the Women's Parliamentary Caucus. Is she online now? Yes, she Has she joined us? Shahida Saba, can you hear us, please? Yes. Please, you can start. Can you listen to me? Honorable guest, honorable fellow parliamentarian, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. It is my privilege to welcome you all as the Secretary of Women's Parliamentary Focus to this session where we have gathered to celebrate our women in leadership. I thank IPFO organized third regional seminar for the Asia Pacific Regional Parliament on achieving sustainable development goals. I'm sorry that I'm not among you today as I am busy with work in the flood affected areas of Sindh. Such events are a great reminder that parliamentary democracy are the vanguards of human rights, gender equality, and sustainable development around the globe. Honorable members, we are aware that women are the center of development agenda of SDGs that talk about gender equality. I reiterate that sustainable development is in reality the cornerstone of gender equality without integration of women in legislation, economy, and politics a nation development remains a distant dream. Political, social, and economic emancipation of women is for strengthening democracy, democratic norms. World history is replete with women who fought against patriarchy women who stood against every order of the society. Women have always worked dedicatedly towards bringing sustainable change in the life of their fellow women. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistani women are an epitome of courage, valor, and bravery. Since incipation of Pakistan, women in politics have played an imperative role in strengthening democracy in the country. For the sake of democracy, they fought fearlessly against dictators. Mohtarma Shaheed Benazir Bhutto is a symbol of such invisible, invincible women. She served as 11th and 13th Prime Minister of Pakistan. She was the first Prime Minister of Pakistan. She was the first women to head the democratic government in a Muslim majority country. Almost half of Pakistan population comprises of women. Dear parliamentarians, WPC is a cross-party forum that strives to work across party affiliation. This platform in itself denotes women's political empowerment in Islamic Republic of Pakistan. I, as Secretary WPC, am delegated to say that this platform is now known as an international good practice around the world. WPC was a vision to empower women at the decision-making table in two senses. It was a vision to make women wise here in the power corridor of the country. I am proud to say that a forum like WPC has duplicated in over a dozen other parliaments as well over, as well as in provincial and regional legislators. I use this platform to highlight that currently 70% of the house business is run by women parliamentarians. We are working on developing framework for gender representative budgeting. We not only support social safety program like energy income support program, we are also striving to reform our regressive tax system to make our economy pink economy. Women constitute around 50% of the total population of Pakistan. Yet, 
only 20% of the parliamentary seat are occupied by us currently wpc is working on making parliament more inclusive for women and other socially marginalized group like transgender and person with disabilities wpc has established a special committee on post legislative scrutiny for legislative review of different laws it will help us bring gender neutral and pro women legislative reforms wpc believe in making workplaces secure for women for their true economic independence we pass protection of women against harassment at workplace act workplace act acid and burn laws wpc champion letting a girl child live her childhood here freely we are working on bringing legislative reform to end to men men's of child marriage in pakistan by treating its root causes honorable members women parliamentarian use the platform of wpc to play an imper- imperative role in raising voice for women specific issues we are not just is an ego rather a voice for our sister sitting behind the boundary behind the boundary walls of their homes we represent our sister from every stratum regardless of their religion caste and region we believe in an inclusive democratic state where so no segment of the country is left behind believing in inclusion and integration we work for our transgender community and person with disabilities we are staunch advocates of parliamentary democracies being the vanguards of right of oppressed and socially marginalized group i urge you all to visit our website that is a state of the art website it is disability friendly website we have a dashboard of legislation where one can access women specific law and international commitment at one click we work with media academia civil society organization and research think tank to highlight women and socially socially uh, mar- marginalized group specific issues ladies and gentlemen before i conclude i want to say that wpc is a true depiction of the fact that no democracy can work without meaningful participation of women in this regard honorable speaker national assembly mr raja pardesh ashraf has always supported women empowerment and em- em- emancipation he is always provided unwavering support of wpc to wpc through his support he has al- always proved that he is an advocate of women's political empowerment i assure you that we women parliamentarian apart from our party affiliations are dedicated towards being an effective voice for our women for our socially socially marginalized group we work tirelessly to bring gender equality in our country because we are firm believer of women being, being the epicenter of developing agenda at global global as well as a national level dear participant i conclude my address with a request to not ignore our brethren who have been adversely affected by climates of the devastating flooding in pakistan one third of pakistan is submerged in water as a result of catastrophic flood we are going through the worst humanitarian crisis in the country in this testing time our women mps are providing flood relief operation they are working day and night in the affected areas to help their fellow pakistanis even day they are working in the calamity hit areas of our country these are testing time for our country i request it to all to help us provide flood relief operation to our brethren 
I also ask you to assist us in rehabilitation of flood affected areas. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Moving on to our next speaker, Ms. Kashmala Tariq, Federal Ombudsperson for Protection.